A Perry man in the Houston County Jail after being charged with stabbing his mother and stepfather to death. Officers arrested Anthony Schaffner yesterday. Sarah Hammond spoke to Perry Captain Heath Dykes, who says they're still investigating and working to find a motive. Officers found 42-year-old Kenneth Griffin and 46-year-old Rebecca Griffin dead in this apartment complex on Wednesday during a welfare check. And now police say the two are Anthony Schaffner's mother and stepfather. When Kenneth Griffin didn't show up to work at the International City Golf Club on Tuesday, his boss called the Perry Police Department for a welfare check. Once we entered, we found the two individuals in, inside that were deceased. Captain Heath Dyke says while the Perry Police Department and the Georgia Bureau of Investigation began their investigation, they got a call about an aggravated assault at the Timberwood apartment complex. Uh, while en route to that call, we realized that, that, that Anthony was the individual that was assaulting another individual. Dyke says Schaffner started yelling and attacking a man with a baseball bat and threatened to stab him, but left before officers arrived. Then he said Schaffner went to the Walgreens in downtown Perry. He had got into an argument inside of Walgreens with a customer. Dyke says they arrested 25-year-old Anthony Schaffner late Wednesday afternoon. So far, they don't have a motive, and as of Thursday, they had search warrants for Schaffner's car and cell phone. We do not know why uh, he did what he did. Uh, uh, we're still trying to piece all that together. Dykes also could not confirm exactly what time the couple died or how many times they were stabbed. He says Perry is usually quiet without much crime. It's very unusual for us to have this type of activity in, in Perry, and, and I'm glad of that. According to Dykes, more charges may be added as the investigation continues, but they do believe Schaffner acted alone. In Perry, Sarah Hammond, 13 WMAZ News. Dyke says Scheffner is a former state corrections officer who was arrested in 2016 and that was for bringing contraband into the prison.